Hello, my beautiful souls. Okay, so before we get started with your reading, I just want to share with you a fascinating website I was recently introduced to that helps you discover how compatible you are in relationships, how others perceive you, and also explains how to fully understand your natal chart through astrology and numerology. There is a ton of information waiting for you on this site to help you better understand love, your path, and to help you improve your life. I got my charts done and it is amazingly accurate and extremely informative. The website is called trulydivine.com and they are offering a 30% off discount for all of my subscribers. All you have to do is use code ZEN30 at checkout to receive your discount. I will provide the link and code in the description box below. So peace and love and happy learning. Now let's get started with your reading. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Today's reading is going to be a love reading for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising. So without further ado, my lovelies, let's get into it. Okay, guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising. Okay, what does Sagittarius need to know regarding their love life at this time? What love messages do you have for Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to focus on in their love life? Please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Saggy, 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 what's going on in your love, 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 love life? So what do you need to focus on? What do you need to know? Judgment. Okay, let's see. What about it? Tell me more, tell me more. Do you guys get the movie references when I say stuff sometimes? I'm a big movie buff. Okay, last shuffle. Any other messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising? Please clarify the judgment card. What does Sagittarius need to know regarding their love life at this time? What do they need to focus on? What messages do you have for Sagittarius? All right, just judgment. Okay, so we're dealing with some karma. It could be a rebirth in your favor, dormant matters coming back to life, an enlightenment, or some kind of spiritual awakening. Okay, so we're going to the love deck. Let's see. Please give us some more clarification here. Some in-depth knowledge. Come on. What about the judgment card for Sagittarius? What's going on? Why judgment? What's going on? Who's judgy? Judgy. All right. Well, that's quite a few cards, but... All right, you know what? I'm going to take them because we only got one. So let's see. Look, there's a lot of them. All right, so we have the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, heal. Okay, so you have had some enlightenment, a spiritual awakening. Okay, let me actually put these up here. So you're going to find things out. Something's coming to light. Okay, the Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Okay, so something may come to light that is causing this relationship to be over, and it's Judgment Day. It could be someone's karma. This could be information from the past, so dormant matters coming back to life, and now it's in your favor, a rebirth in your favor for you to see the truth of what was going on in the past where now you can judge things properly and decide if you want to stay in this relationship or not which it looks like you're going to be like uh no self-indulgence focus on self self-worth time to heal shadow work self-appreciation okay so yeah it's time for you to focus on you so you're going to get some information you're going to tell somebody to scram and then you're going to focus on yourself so I'm feeling that this is something you kind of knew all along, but now that this information has come to light, now you can be like, yeah, now I'm done. Mask, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, lewd, gaslighting. Yeah, this is what somebody was doing to you. They weren't, they weren't showing their true colors. They were hiding who they were. They were lying. They were deceiving you. They were pretending to be somebody they're not. And that finally is what's coming out. 
coffin endings bring new beginnings growth change liberation transition so yeah one door closes and another one opens you're going to focus on yourself and another door is going to open and you're going to be just fine because you are a sagittarius you are a fiery little little thing talking interested conversing more awaited message arrives text call email so yeah see someone else is going to be reaching out to you to communicate Someone that you will meet that you'll be interested in. It may be somebody that you already know. Lightning. Sudden change. Shocking news. Surprise. Epiphany. Upheaval. Transformation. Yeah, you're going to be shocked as shit when you find out this information about this person. That they haven't been honest with you this whole time. And this is something, like I said, from the past that you kind of had a feeling about. But because you didn't have proof, you let it go. You, you wanted to... To actually pretend with yourself even and say, oh, well, no, maybe it's in my head. Maybe I'm making something of it. It's just me being, you know, protective of myself. Always go with your gut. Always go with your gut because you know. You're not crazy. You know. So someone's not showing their true feelings. They're hiding the truth. There's going to be shocking news, this surprise, this upheaval, the sudden change that comes through. It brings the truth to light. You're going to decide the relationship is over. You're going to focus on yourself. And then one door closes and another one opens. And then you're going to have somebody new interested to communicate with you. Hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So this person that you broke up with may even try to come back in because they don't want you seeing anyone else they're going to try and sabotage it by coming in and saying oh no let's rebuild let's you know let's fix this i want to work on it and they may even be persistent but it is what it is i mean come on you know better than that addiction codependent obsession possession controlling has a block restraint this person that you you ended things with they may become obsessed and and try to like see you as a possession like oh somebody else is interested in you well if they you know if I can't have you nobody can so they're going to try and restrain you from going and being happy with somebody else because they know that they screwed up but you know what that's not your problem they had the opportunity and being that this is an issue that happens in the past and they just let it go because they thought they were slick and it's like oh now you got caught so now now it's not cool now, oh, I want to fix it. Yeah, but now the damage is done and you were so quiet and silent about it for so long. Like you had no problem for all these years for some of you to, to pretend and be fake and just in my face straight lie to me. So now where do you think this is okay now? It's not like this was maybe something from like a week ago and you were still mustering up the courage to tell me. This is a long period of time that you were a douche. That's not okay. That says a lot about your character and that's not Okay, so please do not, if this resonates with you, do not let them treat you like this and restrain you and trying to sabotage you being happy with somebody in the future because you deserve happiness and you've put up with this person's crap and that you don't deserve. So let's see, what other messages do we have for you, Sagittarius, regarding your love life? See, we got one tarot card, but the oracle cards, they all came out. And you can also request a reading just with these Black Love tar uh, Tarot. I am tongue-tied this evening. Excuse me. If you would like a reading with just my Black Love Oracle deck, you can purchase from my zenwithinme.com website the Oracle deck. I believe it's $20 for a one-question reading. All of my readings are for one question. You want to ask multiple questions, you could just buy multiples of them and then let me know in one shot all the questions and I'll do one one long video for you. Um, but it's all one question. It's like, I believe it's $20 and you can request which Oracle deck you want. So if you want just the love Oracle deck, then just request love Oracle deck when you place your order. Okay. <clears throat> so what other messages do we have for Sagittarius regarding this reading and their love life? And you know, I'm feeling because you got that fire and you're, you guys are saucy and spicy and just fierce. 
you're going to be pissed when you find this out because I feel the energy from you is that you really cared about this person. You really gave it your all and you put up with a lot of their shit because this person is not, you know, wonderful and fantastic. They got issues and you tolerated that because you thought that you guys had something really amazing. You thought this person was the one, that this person was honest. And then when you find this out, you're going to be like, bitch, please. I don't think so. Kiss my ass. There's the door. Bye. Get the hell out. Don't think so. Okay, so dreams. Like I said, you felt this was the person of your dreams. Source. Okay, so when you find this information out, it's coming directly to you. This may even be somebody like going straight to the source to tell you. Or you, this could be you confronting them once you get some evidence. So you're going straight to the source to say, okay, what the hell is this? You know? Trust. You trusted this person very much. There's a lot of trust there. And with abundance, this is what I feel is confusing for you. You thought you guys were abundant with happiness and just the life together. And even like finances were okay. You guys had money to like go out to eat, go on trips, you know, just do little things, movies, blah, blah, blah. Um, buying each other gifts. Like you, you had an, you thought you had a nice abundant life. And then to find out like this shady shit, it's like, um, no, not cool. Okay. Let's see, what other messages do we have for you, Sagittarius? Okay, what other messages do we have for Sagittarius regarding your love life at this time? What other guidance messages do you have for Sagittarius, please? Okay, we have adjustments are required. Yeah, you bet your ass adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. Did I show you that? I'm sorry. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Yes. Now, new moon eclipse. I feel like everything is just like at this moment when you find this news out, everything's going to go dark. And you have to expect this powerful change because now your world is like completely different. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. So you may be dealing with a Taurus. There may be a Taurus involved here. There may be just Taurus in the chart. Could be by the next full moon. So we have new moon and full moon. So between the new moon and full moon could be when this comes to light. If it hasn't already. Um, if it has already come to light for you, then it could be, you know, by one. Depending on when it happens for you, by the next new or full moon is when you may meet someone new. Okay. That new person may be a Taurus, um, but your dreams need a practical plan. So if you, we have dreams that came through here. So if you felt this was the person of your dreams, you need a practical plan. They are not. Okay, so that's all I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Peace and love. I will see you in the next reading.